Hey there, my fellow FileMaker developers. I just came across something that shocked me. I didn't I didn't even think that I could do this because I assumed incorrectly that I should always use a global merge variable. Now, I re recently released an article. You can find that. It's a freely available article over at FileMakerMagazine.com. It's the data separation part four where I talk about using the custom list. Now, super complex function, but something you can use in a lot of different cases. Very powerful. You'll get that from that video. In this video, I just want to quickly show you what I came across as completely confounding. I want you to look at what you see on screen. Look at those merge variables. Now, do you see something that looks a little funny? Well, to me, this looked funny, just a single dollar sign. Why would you ever use a locally scoped single dollar sign merge variable on a layout? You would assume that the data has to be persistent. It has to come from a global variable. But lo and behold, and I have to give props to Josh Ormond, he sent this to me via email. We were discussing it. It's in the comments on the bottom of that video. But watch what happens. I go into browse mode, and this is actually all of those merge fields are being populated based on one custom list function being called by another custom function. I'm going to show you that. Don't worry. But watch what happens when I move. When I move from, from one record to the next, those merge variables change. It's doing this based on a call using conditional formatting. Now, that's what I talked about in the video. In fact, you can see right here that I've got this um, piece of text, and I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how it works, called layout calculations. Now, you can do this on any of your layouts. Simply put one piece of text on your layout for all of your different merge variables that are going to be used on that layout. You can use just one single piece of text. You can see C conditions, uh, condition, conditional formatting for logic. So when we take a look at that, basically FileMaker is going to evaluate this one text object and it will simply cycle through each of the conditions that are active. So you can have, you know, 10, 15, 20 conditions here, all of them doing some type of logic and setting global variables. It's a single location. Now the first one clearly just is using the value of true, meaning if this is always true, which it always is, simply turn the text color white to the same color as the background. Otherwise, here's my next function. Render student attribute counts. Now, this is really basic. It's I'm just using a custom function for the purpose of getting all of these renderings. Now, I like to do this in my FileMaker solutions. Some developers don't. I do not have a problem commingling different custom functions that are used for actual functions and those which are used for UI. Now you can see for the UI, I tend to prefix them with a class of render if it's going to be something that's going to be rendering to the display. Or in this in this case, down at the bottom, I've got render student attribute counts. So basically, here's my custom list, everything that I talk about. If you don't understand this, all the initialization and then this setting using get field name and the custom list, which is all right there, you're going to have to go watch that video. But down here at the bottom, I simply use a trailing let to set the count to whatever the numerical value is, plus another custom function that I have called format plural. And format plural just basically takes the singular version and the plural version and decides based on the count that you supply it which one am I going to use. So what it does is it merges in all of that information so that my conditional formatting is only on this one piece of text but all other variables on the screen are basically just locally scoped merge variables. It, variables. it doesn't make sense. But watch what happens. This is the cool thing. We go over here to browse mode, it supports multiple windows. I'm going to bring up a new window. So here's my old window right here. I clearly have two addresses, one phone number, and one email address. I'll now move to this record. There are no scripts. There's nothing going on. Those variables are just updating. I now have one address, corresponds, two phones, corresponds, and three emails, corresponds. And look at that. It doesn't matter. I can flip on and off. In fact, you can even see where it breaks down here. This is a web viewer that's displaying information based on Matt, but over here on Alex, notice that his web viewer is showing the same addresses. That's because the web viewer is referencing global variables. But if you have these locally scoped variables, and this will only work for merge variables. It won't work for a web viewer, if you want to know. If you, you Even if you reference 
the locally scoped variables as you know as you do merge variables in this web viewer the web viewer is constantly updating so it will always update what was just really interesting is these persist absolutely amazing absolutely cool absolutely thank you Josh Ormond for finding this and pointing it out very cool to know don't know if it's a quirk don't know if it'll stick around past FileMaker VO3 but that is something cool to know